going back to the Cat Williams um, interview, yes, sir. right? Um, there's a part where he talk about Earthquake. Yes. And he says that uh, Earthquake never got movie roles because Earthquake couldn't weed. Yes. I remember looking at the internet and saying, damn, every, that, that was like kind of where they said he went too far. Mm -hmm. So it's a two-part question. Mm -hmm. One, was that going too far? And then two, is there ever... Do, do, do y'all live by that? Because if rappers go at each other and and it's two people who respect each other, they'll they'll respect those certain boundaries. Yes. But if we if they hate each other, they're gonna try to bring up bring up your, your old baby mother pictures. Yes, yes, they're gonna yes. try to like they're yes. gonna try to really hurt you. So I agree. Is, is, is one I think is too far. But again, and, here's the facts of the entertainment world. Let's, okay. let's start with knowledge first, right? Okay. If I told everybody in here right now to go do a uh, a term paper or on the the success of the black man and black actor and black actors in Hollywood, you will come back with a, a horrible story mm. because the myth is you think that everybody is black and Hollywood is making it and they're not. Wow. See, when when Kat is talking about TV roles, I don't know what he's talking about because right. there's no, those things don't exist. Mm. Wow. We, you have more TV shows in the 90s than you do now. Mm. When I'm on social media and I'm telling people that Hollywood's not for the black man because we don't have shows no more. People say, well, Martin Lawrence comes on. I'm saying, yo, those are reruns. Those, rerun. those are not. People think those are new shows? I'm thinking new shows. There, okay. There's no new black shows True. that come on for uh, that promotes college that promotes family Kinda there's none of those shows. shows none of those shows on and nobody pays attention to that Fresh so Prince. hollywood has pushed the black men into a corner to distinct you can't you, you don't even see us now yeah you got bet but no disrespect bet is no. not you're not respected on no. bet even the way they pay you is not respected mm -hmm. so yes to the average fan when you walk off these sets from a bet show you feel like you're doing something, but you're really not mm. getting no bread. So then when people get older, you start saying, yo, I thought you was rich. You, you don't have Medicare. Your, your family's not around. No one, you're not living in a decent home because nobody knows how to hustle. Nobody knows how to get money other than on these shows. And you have to use your platform to get other opportunities. The same way rappers, when y'all get... Good. Of your albums, you go into the liquor business, you go into mm -hmm. makeup, you go into mm -hmm. fashion. Mm -hmm. Comics don't, and actors don't think that way. Mm -hmm. When you see Terrence Howard talk about he got yeah. 12000 for yeah. Hustle and Flow. Yeah. When you see Taraji Henderson, uh, who I really crying. feel got played, right? And let me tell you what I got played. The budget of her movie is $167 million for um, um, Benjamin Button. Okay. Watch what I'm about to say. Okay. Right. Now, we all here. We understand the budget. We understand okay. budget. Yes. 167 sure clear. million. million. Mm -hmm. And someone, your agent comes back and tells you they're only going to give you $150,000. You're going to tell kiss my motherfucking ass. And I hate to curse. I'm going to say it two times. Yeah. You're going to tell that person to kiss my, you know. Yeah. It, ain't, it ain't happening. So I feel that the company paid the agency, gave her what she wanted. I think they gave her five, seven, eight million. But they told her she was only going to get $150,000. Wow. And this is going to be an opportunity for oh, you. The agency that... That's through Oprah, too, right? That's why she said it. Well, no, no, no. Let's stay focused because we're going down another path. I wasn't finished okay. what I was saying. Please. Right. Yeah. So <laughs> the thing with that is with the agency, to me, I don't know who an agency is, so they can't sue me. So they told her she should do it for one hundred fifty dollars because here's the play. You're doing it with Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt. It's going to change your career. And she fell for it. But at the end of the day, you're supposed to get your bread. Mm -hmm. And I always tell people you get what you negotiate. And at the end of the day, there's no friends. I always say keep a Republican. And the keep a Republicans always get the money. You know, now, am I Republican? No. But I always say keep a Republican because you're supposed mm -hmm. to keep it business and stop trying to be people's friends. You said something earlier. I don't remember the... The latter part, but you said it's ninety nine percent business, business and one percent show. Show, yeah, because it's all about business, it's about relationships, mm -hmm. it's about your hustle, mm -hmm. it's about do you get up early and want to go do radio? Mm -hmm. Are you are you strong enough to do your interviews? Are you right. strong enough to show up at Drink Champs? Mm -hmm. You know, are you strong enough to be in front of the camera to let people know what are you willing to do 
for a six. Mm-hmm. What are you prepared to do is if you want it that bad? And a lot of people don't don't get that. And then when they do get it, they abuse it and it's taken away from them. Mm-hmm. You know, I really appreciate this shit. Uh, this is from Jack Thriller. You know Jack Thriller? I know him very yeah. well. That's my man. He, he said, last time you said you were going independent and don't need Netflix, but now you're lobbying saying that a Netflix special. What what did change between then and now? Yeah, the fans. Oh, Because yeah. I see that the, the, the fans does not understand comedy IQ. They really think you're supposed to be on Netflix to be successful. Mm-hmm. And that's not true. No, it's not. I got my own network. No. I promote TK Network. I have my own special. No. I only want to do Netflix for the people. Right. It's going to be a people's thing. And that's why when I do get it, God willing, it's going to be one of the greatest shows they've ever seen right. in, in stand-up is because everybody knows how great I am as a comedian. These are just facts. But right, until yeah. then, I'm going to continue put out my own specials. I'm going to continue being independent. I'm going to continue eat because, like I said, what's my rule? We stay low key and flex occasionally. Right. So mm-hmm. you know, we, we, I'm getting the bread. It's just that you don't see it on the Netflix because we'll program again. I right. think to make it, you got to be on Netflix, and there's some horrible comics on Netflix. <laughs> horrible, and I'll then two, them. yeah, and then two. They repeat the same comics. Like, there's no more comedians out there. Right. And they need to give opportunities to fresh new faces right. mm-hmm. to give them opportunity to shine. Because there's a lot of young comics out there that's very, very talented. Because I once heard you say, um, the thing about Netflix is they give you a bulk of money. They give you a bulk of money. You, is that true? You don't get no residuals at all? See, the thing, I, I'm, I guess I'm a control freak when it comes to business. I like to answer my phone. I like making decisions, what picture I'm going to be on my cover, right. what time I'm going to be there. Netflix, they own everything. They pay mm-hmm. you. One time. One so. time. You, they, they tell you what date is coming out. You can't call nobody and ask questions. They don't mm-hmm. promote it. They just put it up, and they hope that your fan base uh, does what it leads does. you. Yeah, it does what it does. That's what they do. And I, I, at, at this point right now, I don't like it, but when I – do get my special eventually. I'm getting, I'm gonna do something totally different that no other, other comic has done. Cause in rap we got something called like one off. Yes. Like it's just one deal. You wouldn't be um, interested in that. Like all right, cool. Let me just write this just for Netflix. This is my one special that I might not own, but it might be worth. No, 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 no. no. I don't do those things. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. No. Hell no. Mm-mm. Yeah. No. 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 Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, no. 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 Well, no. Uh, uh, doesn't. Because your fans do want to see you on Netflix. They just, do want to see me on just Netflix. Like they, they, like when I, they um, sure do. They, that was the biggest question. It's like, yo, Netflix, and then when his fucking book is coming out. Yeah, now the, the book deal is in the works. Okay. And Charlemagne is yep. behind that. Shout out to Charlemagne. Yep. Um, and the book is called Who Raised You? Mm-hmm. And um, it's not going to be your typical book. It's not going to be about my past experiences. Mm-hmm. Uh, Who Raised You is going to be the manual to life. Mm. It's going to be the manual to life. It's going to be something that you can read and it can help you after we're dead and gone. It, it, it's going to be one of them things that you can, your kids, kids can read and it'll still help them with their life. I think you'll do real good in that lane because like I said before, there's a lot of philosophies that you have that I 100% agree. He, he yes, thinks thank you, you so should think, teach relationship class. Yeah, I get that a lot about relationship class. <laughs> but one of um, them, man, over 50 E for free. Yeah, Put some, that in some, the some, <laughs> so, yeah, some people, yeah, it's, it's, it's been a great, it's a great journey. And I, I, I believe you shouldn't write a book until you're in your 50s or 60s anyway, because I think you have to have so much experiences. To, you know, people share something that happened to them, but right, that's man. not wisdom. Wisdom is that, to me, 50, 55 years, you've been through so much, you've got something to say. 